Okay, you've got your Hubitat Elevation Hub up and running, and you want to add some devices, so it actually has something to do. Let's make that happen. Start by taking the device you want to add and either installing it or moving it to the location where it will be used. This will ensure that the mesh routes are solid from the get-go. If you add the device while it is near the hub, and then you move it, this can lead to connection issues. If you are planning to add multiple devices, it's best to start adding the devices that are closest to the hub and build your network outward. With our device in place, we're going to access our hub. I'm showing this on my desktop because it's easier for demonstration purposes, but you might find it handier to add devices using your Hubitat mobile app, so then you can do it right by your device. The process is the same, it's just in a different form factor. So in the UI, we're going to go to Devices, then up here and select Add Devices. This will bring up our Add Devices wizard. Now I have a Centralite Smart Plug I want to add, which I can do in a couple different ways. If I do this by device type, I'll select Plug, then Centralite, or if I want to do it by brand, I can select Centralite, and then Plug, and you'll see it gets me to the exact same place. The wizard recognizes this as a Zigbee device. If this were a Z-Wave device, this button here would say Z-Wave Inclusion, which has some technical differences, but is essentially the same thing. If the device I'm adding is a brand new device, my next step is to press this button to put the hub in pairing mode. If, however, I am moving an old device from another system to my Hubitat Elevation Hub, number one, I'm a smart person. Number two, I need to make sure the device is reset first. For Zigbee devices, that means following the manufacturer's convoluted instructions to perform a factory reset. For Z-Wave devices, that means you need to perform a Z-Wave Exclude. To do that, press this Z-Wave Exclude button here, then put the devices you want to exclude into exclusion mode based on whatever magical set of button presses the manufacturer indicates in their instructions. Now that the device is clear of its bad mojo, I can press here to put the hub in pairing mode. I will then follow the device instructions to put the device in pairing or discovering mode, whatever they happen to call it. Some device instructions are listed here, others you'll have to dig out your device box and find them for yourself. Once the hub finds your device, it will show up here. We'll give it a name, and once we do that, it is saved and added to our system. You'll see we have a few links for things you can do now that the device is added, but one thing I want to emphasize is that you should always test a device after you add it to make sure it is working properly. So we're going to click here, which takes us to the device detail page. Then we're going to use these command buttons here to put it through its paces. If everything works as it should, we know our device is good to go. So those are the basics of adding devices using our add device wizard. And it works for most of our compatible devices. If, however, you are trying to add devices that connect to the hub using a bridge, such as Lutron or Hue, or you are adding Wi-Fi network devices such as Alexa or Google Home, you will need to use an integration app. These can be found in the app section of the hub. Go to add an app and you'll find the integration apps right here. Going back to the add device page, if you are an experienced user, you can add devices manually using these buttons here. Also, if you're adding a Z-Wave 700 device, you can use the QR code on that device and add it via the Smart Start system found on the mobile app. Check out our video link for more information on that. If you follow these steps, adding devices should go pretty smoothly. However, if you're having problems adding a device, there are some troubleshooting steps you can try. First, make sure the device is in our compatible devices list at docs.hubitat.com. Also check that it doesn't require a bridge or integration app to connect. Second, even if the device is brand new, you may want to run a factory reset or a Z-Wave exclusion. Third, make sure the device is in range of the hub. Z-Wave and Zigbee are mesh networks, so they actually perform better with multiple devices. If you are trying to add a single device that's a long distance from the hub, you may need to add some repeating devices in between to get the best performance. Finally, try cursing. It probably won't help, but you know, sometimes it feels good. For more information or help adding specific devices, visit our community at community.hubitat.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more thrilling tutorial content. Thanks for watching, and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.